I could talk about it right now, but when I go back into the garbage dump and I see the way that the people live, the way the kids scavenge for food, it's, uh, it's, it's not easy to talk about. Listen, you don't know what hunger is really like. Hunger does crazy things to people and children here in the country of Haiti, things that I've never heard of before in my life. They've got to know that this is a curse and that Jesus has redeemed us from the curse. This is poverty in the nth degree that I've ever seen around the world, 42 countries. Haiti is not like a different part of the world. It's like a different world. Like I've seen stuff similar to it. People just trying to scrape out of existence. She don't want to be here. I'm sure she didn't start out here. There's a baby. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. He will never know another life. If people don't help this family, he will never know anything different. And he will grow up chasing garbage trucks and scraping for food in the pot. Oh my goodness. I had no idea. I had no idea. May God help us. May God forgive us for what we do not do to help the poor. The Lord is depending upon you. You're his hands and feet. And God uses us to feed the hungry. And when these people come in line and they get their box of food that you help sponsor, that box of food is like a box of gold. It is so valuable to these people that everybody can do something. And when we do nothing, that's when starvation takes place. Will you do something today to help Haiti's poorest people in this impoverished place? Will you hear the cry of the poor and consider their plight? Will you walk with Bobby and Sherry and the ministry of Love a Child through these deplorable conditions to help these poor people? Matthew 5.16 says, Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. As you partner with Bobby and Sherry Burnett with your good works, Hades hurting people can experience the love of Christ. Today, Bobby and I, mm. and some of our staff, and our daughter Julie, we are here in Tutier, which is the largest garbage dump landfill in the country of Haiti. If you could imagine all the nasty stuff in Haiti getting thrown in one place, it's here. And not only are there fires burning, burning the trash, there are children, and families, and babies, and grandbabies living right here in this dump with no hope, no help, and no food. Trying to survive. The animals that you see in the background, people drop their animals off so they could try to find food. The pigs are allowed to roam, and right beside the pigs Goats. are the little children digging, scratching, scrounging for food or for something to sell. Mm. This should not be. You know, it's not by accident you're watching this program. It's not by accident. It's ordained of God. But the Bible says, Whosoever shutteth his ears at the cry of the poor, he himself shall cry and not be heard. Today I pray you don't shut your ears at the cry of the poor, but let God use you today. This program is a special program. God bless you. Bye.
Haiti is the poorest country in the world. Everyday children are hungry and starving, which means many cases lead to death. These children have no hope. They have no desire for school, no strength to play, and no aspirations of a better future. But you can help change their situation by providing food now, because food brings hope. Will you get involved today? Your gift of $16 will provide 432 meals consisting of well-balanced, nutritionally rich, great tasting food. Yes, for just $16, less than the average restaurant meal for your family, you will be providing 432 meals. Your gift of $48 will provide 1,296 meals and your gift of $120 will provide 3,240 meals of great tasting food. Please consider Haiti's Hungry Children today by calling the number on your screen, visiting our website, or sending your gift in the mail. We cannot do everything, but together we can do something. On behalf of Haiti's Hungry Children, thank you and may God richly bless you. Hey guys, Bobby wants to talk to you real quick about what we're doing. Hey guys. Good morning, sir. Here we are. We're just on the edge of the garbage dump. Okay. There's 330 families living there. We're just praying what to do out here. We've been feeding the people out here. So think about maybe we go to school out here and feed the children like that. But in the meantime, we're just trying to give them food to give them survival because the human should never live like that. It's unbearable in human conditions. Oui. 
Mawe Wankom Say Madam Sherry. You know, it's just we were just passing by here on the way to a feeding program for some children, hot meals that we're going to serve today, and saw this young mother and just stopped in and talked to her. She's got a little baby and she's got another child. She says 20 years old, and I said, have you been living here a long time? But it's been since 2008. She has been here a long time. I think when you live in a place like this, one day goes into another and you don't even realize how long you've been here. And I said, what do you do for a living? And she said, well, I collect gallons, like empty uh, bottles, empty uh, plastic bottles, and then they're crushed and she just gets, she just gets uh, one goo, which is 20 cents Haitian for a, for a kilo. So, you know, she works really hard to do that. And everybody here who lives in the dump are trying to find something to scavenge from the garbage to make a living, you know. And if these people don't get helped, this little baby's... will grow up right here in the dump. It's like it's an unending thing. So, I can't talk anymore. Let's go. Let's go, guys. I have three little sisters. I've had to work and I've had to take care of them. And um, that was a lot easier than this. Here you have one bowl that you have to share with your entire family. I don't think I could do it. I could talk about it right now, but when I go back into the garbage dump and I see the way that the people live, the way the kids scavenge for food, it's, uh, it's, it's not easy to talk about. Listen, you don't know what hunger is really like. Hunger does crazy things to people and children here in the country of Haiti, things that I've never heard of before in my life. They've got to know that this is a curse and that Jesus has redeemed us from the curse. This is poverty in the nth degree that I've ever seen around the world in 42 countries. Haiti is not like a different part of the world. It's like a different world. Like I've seen stuff similar to it. People just trying to scrape out of existence. She don't want to be here. I'm sure she didn't start out here. There's a baby. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. He will never know another life. If people don't help this family, he will never know anything different. And he will grow up chasing garbage trucks and scraping for food in the pot. Oh my goodness. This is I had no idea. I had no idea. May God help us. May God forgive us for what we do not do to help the poor. The Lord is depending upon you. You're his hands and feet. And God uses us to feed the hungry. And when these people come in line and they get their box of food that you help sponsor, that box of food is like a box of gold. It is so valuable to these people that everybody can do something. And when we do nothing, that's when starvation takes place. Will you do something today to help Haiti's poorest people in this impoverished place?
Will you hear the cry of the poor and consider their plight? Will you walk with Bobby and Sherry and the ministry of Love a Child through these deplorable conditions to help these poor people? Matthew 5, 16 says, Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. As you partner with Bobby and Sherry Burnett with your good works, Hades hurting people can experience the love of Christ. Well, may God bless you. I want to give you a word for the mission field here in Haiti, where Sher and I live as full-time missionaries. I want to give you a word today from the Bible to encourage you. But the Bible says, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. I just want to say something short here that I remember about a year ago, I, I wasn't angry at God, but I was just, I, I just said, God, I'm, if I was God, I would, would not let no one go hungry on this earth, especially children. If you was God, would you let any children go hungry on this earth, anywhere on this earth, if you was God? And the Holy Spirit came on me. And God began to speak to my heart and let me know, Bobby and other people, you, we are God's hands. We are God's feet. We're God's mouthpiece. And God uses us to feed the hungry and help those who are naked and to clothe them and to feed them. If we would do our job, I don't believe nobody would be hungry. I don't believe nobody, I do, I, I believe all my, if we all did our job, no one would be hungry. Let God use you today. The Bible says, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Let God use you today. You're His hands and feet and mouthpiece. God bless you. You know, we tried to get to try to try to take the route of this way, but it's blocked. We're right here in the middle of the garbage dump. You know, these people are so desperate. We're here right now where somebody, a big truck has come along and thrown garbage out, and everybody is coming right now to look for garbage. And and it's very dangerous because nobody wants you to take their garbage from them. It just breaks the heart of God. You know, we're here not to whack people on the head and tell them that they're dying and going to hell. But we're here today to, to try to hug them, to try to show them that there is a God who loves them, that they are not forgotten. Even though they live in the garbage dump, God knows where they are. He knows every hair upon their head, and He loves them and He wants to help them. Will you help us help them? Pray about it. Thank you so much. Je <coughs> <coughs> Maintenant, 
Parce que les marines ont fait des bras, ça. Ils ont pu manger. Ils ont battu son lit parce qu'ils ont fait des bras. Ils ont fait des bras. Ils ont fait des bras. Je <coughs> Parce que je suis bien vivre, je suis bien vivre, je suis bien vivre, Haiti is the poorest country in the world. Every day children are hungry and starving, which means many cases lead to death. These children have no hope. They have no desire for school, no strength to play, and no aspirations of a better future. Please consider Haiti's hungry children today by calling the number on your screen, visiting our website, or sending your gift in the mail. We cannot do everything but together we can do something. On behalf of Haiti's hungry children, thank you and may God richly bless you. My own trip? Oh, bonjour, bonjour. Bonjour, bonjour. And this is where they sleep. Oh my goodness. The flies are just terrible. There's a baby. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. He will never know another life. If people don't help this family, he will never know anything different. And he will grow up chasing garbage trucks and scraping for food in the pot, oh my goodness. It's just unimaginable to think of waking up, waking up here. May God help us, may God forgive us for what we do not do to help the poor. Yes. May God forgive us. We're here under a tarp in the garbage dump of Toutier. We're doing a feeding program today for the children. They're all over the ground. There's hundreds and hundreds of children here. And we're passing the bowls back to the back now. All the kids, we gave tickets out so it's less confusing. Some of the adults have been stealing food from the kids, but Bobby, it's such a touching day today. Bobby's going to come and tell you who can help us with the kids. Please help. Sure. Can I take over here for one minute, okay? okay? This is where we're just pressed with people. We're just pressed with people, all these people, the children from the garbage dump. They all live in the garbage dump. But they come dressed in their best clothes. You know, two, two or three weeks ago, we came back and gave out a whole bunch of new clothes. And so, it's a blessing. I tell you, it's in human for 330 families to live in the garbage dump, especially the children. It's not fair. So we're praying about what we can do. How we can help. This is my fourth month, I believe, for giving out food in actual boxes. 
like we always do today, to actually feed the children our hot meals. Here's how you help. Please listen. Please. Without you, we can't do it. This is an emergency. Other children are waiting in Haiti, just like you see here. Pray we can continue this. We don't have the money to continue this. Nor the program in the garbage dump. Without your help, we can't continue. Plus, others are waiting in Haiti. I'm not exaggerating. I'm not making up my stories. Here's how you can help. A gift of $16 will supply 432 meals for a gift of $48 will supply a gift of 1,296 meals for a gift of $120 will supply 3,240 meals for a gift of $1,000 will supply 27,000 meals. For those of you God's prosper, I feel it in my heart. I feel it strong in my spirit. For a gift of $10,000, which is a 40 foot container of food, $10,000 will supply 272,000 meals, an entire container of food. You can help save a life, change a life, give hope, sharing the gospel, sharing Jesus through food. The toll-free number is on the screen. Call right now. Please on your credit card and call in. Give on your credit card. See how much you want to give. Or you may want to call in and say, I, I, I want to give a certain amount automatically deducted for my credit card each month. Automatic deduction. You can do that. Listen, the widow's might. Every penny helps. Call right now. And let God use you. We're going to send you a special picture here from Haiti. We're going to write you a special letter with a picture. God will bless you for giving to the poor. Psalms 41, verse 1, 2, and 3. He but give it to the poor, lend it to the Lord. You're giving it to Jesus. You think you're giving it to thee, but Matthew 25 says, when we do it to one of the least of these little ones, we do it to Jesus. So please help. You can help save a life of a child here in Haiti. Sharon and I don't come here just to take the film. We have lived here for 25 years and devoted our life to the Haitian people. You and I that's partnered together to make a difference for the love of something you do. And also, everybody who gives can give today on the sing our new release book written by Sherry and I, Love is Something You Do. I mean, we're running out of copies all the time. We're ordering thousands or more. If people love that book, it's a story of faith, a story of love, all about Haiti. Love is Something You Do, our newest book. Sure, I ask for it. It's our gift to you today for giving. God bless you. Thank you.